Okay. Well, should we do a bit more upgrading? I think we should. So, where's my where's my upgrade? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Yes. So, and I love how easy the upgrading is, because literally you just hold the key down and just move it over the roads that you want to upgrade, and boom, 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 boom. All done. So much easier. And I'm going to extend it right up there. There we go. So now let's look at our noise pollution again up here. Oh, massively reduced. Very cool. And in actual fact, we'll just do this section and this section down here as well. Sweet as. Have I upgraded all of this? Yeah, I've upgraded all of this. I haven't done this road out here. I'm going to upgrade this road as well. But remember, adding trees increases the maintenance cost of these roads, right? So you're paying for it. Our profits at the moment, we're still over 5,000. We've got, we're close to half a million in the bank, which is great. Our population's up to 12,000 now. How are things up here? Yeah, we're starting to get a bit of traffic backing up here. Because this traffic, for some reason, is coming like back round here rather than easily using the road. I guess it's it's traffic coming to the train station and then it's coming out here. So I don't know, maybe we should maybe we should beef this up a little bit. Hmm. Huh. It's an idea. I wonder, can we upgrade this to a six lane? I bet we um I bet we can. Yeah oh, we can you know. Right, well let's do it. Let's in increase this. Although, i got to say, this isn't actually very busy, but, like, what the hell. And then, maybe, maybe we increase the size of these. I don't know. Um, I can also increase the size of this. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll rezone in the commercial there. How are we doing? We need more industry. We need a lot more industry. Right, you know what? It's time. It's time for the farms. I'm going to put in a road. Because the bloke from the southwest wants somewhere to live. I want a house. I want a nice house in the country. Do a bit of farming. Lovely. Let's run this down there. Run this one. Kind of, kind of out here. And then we'll go to... We'll just do some, some nice... Two lanes. So did I put in six lane? I did, didn't I? What a bonehead. Now, can I down... You know what? I've never tried to downgrade a road. Let's see if I can downgrade a road. Yeah, I can. Let's hold this down. Downgrade all of that. There we go. That's better. That's more like it. Then we'll put in some, um, some two lane roads. Yeah, and again, I want this to be kind of... Not neat and tidy. I want it to be a, kind of a bit all over the place. Um, so they, they're going to be like kind of sort of ish. Gridded, but kind of not really. Because it's all a bit, all a bit of a mess. Um, yeah. I think I'll leave. More. Oh, come on. Put a straight one in there, and then th then this one coming. Um, I, am I going to hook? Yeah, I'm going to hook this one up. There we go. We'll hook that one up. Then I'm going to put in some, I think, some gravel roads. I'm going to use the straight tool for these. I think a little, bit, a little bit easier. Uh, yeah. I think the gravel, the gravel ones look a bit better with the farms, I think. And up there, and up there. I got the one thing about the game that I'm kind of not like wild about is the the fact that these zones are like relatively small. I mean, when you think about it, you know, this is the size of a road. You can over only have a building four tiles wide. Come on especially when we're doing farms you know so it kind of is what it is i know but i'd, I'd like 
I'd like big farms. We, we'd all like big farms. I, you know, we need to start like a petition or something and get onto Colossal Order and say, come on, guys, we want an expansion pack with like expanded farming. Um, we probably don't want to go like too far out this way because if we look at our... See, we're getting into the, we're getting into the ore over here, whereas this is the, this is the fertile land over here. So, yeah, let's do more up here then. So let's go back over here and we'll uh, go back to our two-lane road. No, well, I was doing the gravel, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Let's do some gravel up here and up here. Oh, garbage is piling up. Why is garbage piling up? I've got loads of bloomin' garbage service. And uh, uh, let's put the curve tool on and we'll do we'll do some curvy ones up up this side, I think. And up here. And up there. And we'll bring one down here. Boom. Like it. How about one? Uh Cross there and bring it up here. Oh, oh, oh. There. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to zone like most of this, and I'm going to do it kind of in one go because I, I want to kind of demonstrate the whole. Um, oh dear! If I use the marquee tool, it'd be better. Uh, I want to demonstrate like the whole electricity thing a bit better. So, you know what? We're going to zone this in. Um, marquee tool? Yeah, marquee tool. Boom. Like, make it easy. Now, we should start to see this zoning in. Look. And, of course, all of these guys don't have electricity. Now, if I'd started from here and zoned it in bit by bit, I would have taken the electricity with me. Right? But right now, I've got to get electricity to these guys. How do I get electricity to these guys? Okay? I think that illustrates the problem. Yeah? So, marquee tool, D zone, and we'll take out this. Okay? This will all D zone now. Right? And then hopefully, this will start to zone in. Or we could run a short set of power lines up to here. And then as this starts to populate, which it is starting to do, we'll add in. The electricity as we go along. Uh, well, it will add in the electricity as we go along. Where have we got some power lines that we could like hook up to or something? Um, we could hook it up down here, but I'm hoping this is going to fill in. Come on, guys! We've got some demand for residential. The thing is, the residential's probably filling in these high density areas still. Come on, guys! All right, you know what? I'm going to throw in a short power line just to help them out. Here you go. Boom. There we go. Done. Right. Now we can uh, we can get back to filling in the zoning. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to just do it with the brush and we'll do it just like bit by bit. Now I do need to throw some water in for these guys as well. And we'll get this area going and this area going. And probably this area going as well. Right. Water. Where's our water? Oh, we're almost covered. Just need to run this pipe a bit further out. There we go. And we'll do all of these pipes now. Why not? Just do it in one go. And the same over here. This layout just makes it so easy to extend your water pipes. Man, I'm kind of pleased that I... Uh, found this. Oh, tuh. except that, look, I put this one in, I didn't start from the right place. Oh, bonehead. And I wish there was an easier way to, to, uh, to demolish these. Actually, if I hold it down, oh yeah, 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 if you just hold down the left mouse and run it along, you can delete whole sections. Good, 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 good. All right. Right, let's try that again. But without the uh, without the bonehead bit. Oh, the music's getting very inspiring now. I guess as our city's growing. What are we up to? Thirteen and a half thousand. I need to zone in some more uh, 
high density stuff, but I'm kind of really keen to. Oh, look, our farming is getting there. Right. Now, this is all regular industry. We need to zone this as a district. Let's get the, let's get the big brush. Let's get the big boy brush. Right. And we're going to zone all of this. It's going to be a big old agricultural zone. And again, I'm still waiting for you to guys to come up with names, although we do have one name, and I'm going to use that now. Right, so uh, farming industry, all you do, click on that, boom, that's farming. Oh, you know what? Oh, somebody reminded me, somebody left me a comment, and uh, they were like, what about, uh, what about pigs? Where are the pigs? Well, hopefully, we should see some pigs fairly soon. Look how, how quickly it pollutes. But hopefully it should get rid of that just as quickly once we put the farms in. And all this pollution will disappear. Any animals yet? First person to spot an animal gets a prize. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, we've, got, we've got lots of kind of barns and we've got lots of silos. Oh, and there's different coloured silos. No animals yet. No animals and no fields. Where are the fields and the animals? Oh, 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 what's this? No. No, that's another barn. Oh, come on. Where's my animals? Alright, we need to zone more. We need to zone more. Zone this. I wonder if... Yeah, it looks like we're getting electricity over here, so we can start to bang all of this in. Here we go. What are our demands like? We need more commercial. Now, I was just saying, somebody's come up with a name. Oh, yeah. And I thought this was a clever name. I, I like clever names. What is it with the waterworks? Sharing with bottled water. Oh, somebody doesn't have water. Oh, I'll check that in a second. Somebody came up with a name. I like clever names, and I think this was a clever name. Remember that this is obviously going to be like primarily offices all around the outside. Well, and it's an oval. So how about... I'm going to call it the... The Oval Offices. Yes, the Oval Offices in the centre of glorious Esterford, which is starting to grow now. Looking good. Right, you know what? We haven't looked m m at the budget much, and I know several people have left me comments and said, show the budgets and stuff. Right, so here's our budgets. Now, if you want to micromanage you have the opportunity to do that. So, for example, if um, if we looked at our water and said, well, you know, we, we, we've actually got more water than we need and more sewage than we need, um, we could save a little bit of money. You could actually notch your budget down a little bit, right? And what that will do, if I... Uh, uh, power production, now I've done it on power, uh, power production facilities will hire more people and thus produce more electricity with a higher budget, okay? So that's, we could, now water was the one I was supposed to be doing. If I notch the water one down, yeah, water and sewage work more efficiently with more funding. So the, if you increase the budget, you'll get more water and, uh, and sewage. If you drop it down a bit, you'll get a bit less and you save a bit of money. So you can really micromanage things using this. Um, but be careful. Be careful with it because it, it's kind of easy to get out of control. If we look down here, Here's uh, our, now obviously this is what we're spending. These are our expenses and it's also detailed over here. You can go and check it. These are, these are things like um, our weekly road services. Yes, garbage it's complaining about. Uh, here's our, uh, our healthcare, education, uh, police department, fire department. Right, so you've got all this stuff. If you look at um, transport, which we haven't put in yet. Actually, we can look at trains. Oh, no, we haven't got any... Um, it's only cargo trains, it's not passenger trains. You will get money from these, okay? Oh, in fact, well, 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 you know, we're actually getting money from the trains. Obviously, they pay to ship out the cargo on the trains, and we get money from it. How about that? Oh, I like that. I, I didn't realise we got paid for cargo. Um, down here, we can see our residential, how much taxes we're getting from our low density, and also it breaks it down by the level of buildings. And as you can see, most of our buildings now are up to level 3, because we're getting 11,000, and uh, people have been saying, I've been saying uh, euros, 
Apparently the currency in the game is simoleons, spelt with a C. So it's simoleons. Does that remind you of another game? Kind of does, doesn't it? So we've got low density, high density, same for commercial, and then we've got, here's our, um, our industry, and here's our offices. Right, and we're not getting a lot from offices at the moment. Now obviously we can, uh, we can adjust our tax rates, and our high density, we haven't changed. We put these up to 11, we haven't changed these. So let's crank these up to 11 again, which I think is about a comfortable level. And I think for this playthrough, we're going to be like, we're going to be kind of like relatively conservative. We're not going to push it too far. Now, what does that do to our income? Our income has just shot up to 8,000, 9,000, 9, Yep, cash is rolling in. What a great city. I would say I'm dreaming if I didn't know better. Well, 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 there you go. So, how's things over here? Things over here looking pretty good. Look at all of our demands. Our demands are nice and high. We can carry on zoning. Let's start to extend all of this. Get loads. I want a massive farming community going on over here. Now, I could go in and start tinkering with the, uh, with the district policies. We've got our city policies, which we haven't put anything in yet. Right, this stuff is does tend to be expensive. I'm going to do it a bit later, but right now I want to get a nice solid bank balance. I want to start to build up my services, but I want to stay nice and profitable in the early game. It's very, very easy to kind of get out of control and start losing money, and that's a very bad thing, guys. Let me tell you. Um, you guys are going to come up with some clever names for this agriculture. I really, really hope. Oh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, we could do the education boost. That is kind of a nice thing, but it bumps up your education budget by like 25%. And we go and look at what we're spending on education at the moment. And remember, we haven't put a lot of education in yet. We're already spending like 1600 so that's going to cost us like 400 a week just to implement that one policy. Okay. So, right, that's getting on with it. We need to go over to the Oval Offices. We need to continue our process of converting this right because we need to move all of the residential out we need to convert it all to commercial and offices which means that we need to provide more residential space so let's do that now shall we yes guy we should I'm glad you agree right let's um, use the marquee tool and if I choose that I'm gonna unzone now this is quite a big chunk to unzone in one go yeah I'm gonna take it right up to there I think boom and then we'll whack in. Can I get that last square again? There it is. We'll whack this into uh, high, high density residential. Lovely.